I'm Bob Maddox from Metroid, Oregon, and we are over in Cedarville at the Dry Lake Bed. And I'm out here with my 900 pound thrust pulse jet powered Lakester. Um, this is a nostalgia type build back in the 50s. The guys that wanted to go really fast, uh, the shade tree mechanics, they went out and they found these drop tanks. The tank underneath here is actually a fuel tank from the World War II fighters. And so they take those. They build a car inside them and they go out because they're real aerodynamic and they really go fast. So anyway, I've put a, one of my pulse jet engines that I build inside of it. This pulse jet is running, is, we're probably going to be running about 50% thrust on it today. And uh, it's out for its first maiden flight out uh, on the dry lake bed. Got a full roll cage inside. We can take the pan out here. You can see inside here. Got a full roll cage inside. Belts brake, steering wheel, you can see up on the dash we have a few switches that uh, turn things on and off. We have a spark and we have a uh, two throttles. One is for starting the engine, the second is to kick it to full throttle. I was a skydiver for, or have been a skydiver for 25, 30 years and um, about 10 years ago I was in a tracking contest where you uh, a bunch of people go out of an airplane and you go into a delta and you see how fast you can go across the sky and a friend of mine was beating me and I thought man I need a jet engine on my chest or something to keep up with this guy so I got on the ground and I thought well maybe I can uh, maybe I can find a jet engine but I I wasn't on the internet or anything so I decided I'd try building a jet engine. I remembered seeing a uh, schematic in the encyclopedia of a pulse jet engine so I looked that up and, and uh, Worked in my shop for a few months and got an engine running, and, and uh, then I just kept going, kept making bigger and bigger engines until this is the most powerful engine that I've ever put on anything to run. Thank <laughs> you. 